Alright everyone, this is ALG, waking up and preparing for another episode of Let's Play Sweet Coden 3. Alright, in this episode we're pretty much not going to be doing much of anything except getting a lot of money very quickly and very cheaply. So cheaply that, you know, it's just going to be cheap. <laughs> You'll see what I'm saying. Alright, now this is a relative, relatively important quest that he makes us do. So he's giving us a pentagram. Uh, so apparently, oh, it belongs to the Lightfellow family. So the Lightfellow family is a bunch of Satanists? <laughs> is that what that means? Because that looks pretty evil. Well, I don't think they're going to take that too kindly, but... Who knows? Yeah, that thing looks like it could possess me. Oh jeez, it's a pentacle. Wow. Well, probably because that thing has like a demon in it and it's probably bothering you. Go, go to the light fellows and Zexon and give them hell, yes. And then we'll drop Lulu off at the Lightfellow house, too, to annoy them even further. <clears throat> Fubar. Fubar's just walking along like, eh, well... I don't know. Anyway, this is the world map. And the world map is extremely linear. So, basically what you're supposed to do is go to the regular plains of Amur. But we will be going up through here first. Alright. A few things I should mention. A uh, rare encounter here is the wild boar. So if you run into him, <coughs> I'd recommend being level at least level 14 first. But he's actually a very powerful enemy. Here is the buddy system. And here's where a lot of people got pissed off and probably gave up on the game. You do not want to do auto yet, but as you can see there are three functions. Then you have attack which pretty much uh, makes one pair attack, one whole pair, so if you're selecting an attack, you're pretty much doing that for two people. Uh, defend, defend means you pretty much just stay there for both people. Runes, meaning that you can uh, pretty much make the rune caster cast something, it doesn't have to be a spell, but you'll pretty much make the front person attack by default. And yeah, this is basically, I don't have anything equipped, but that's how you use medicines and items and stuff. So let's just attack, and I will... Sword Cyclone, that's pretty useless. Breath of Ice. Mm. Kindness drops, heals one pair, and, and cures all status ailments for one pair. So we'll just make everybody attack per bunny. Bunny! And when you kill animals, they turn into toxic fumes. Pretty interesting. I love the music in this uh, menu, though. The end of every um, random battle. And you get your skills points. It's really, really good stuff. What, what, what am I talking about? Well, anyway, we are wandering through the fields of plenty. Oh, yeah. Okay, now you really want to encounter these guys as much as possible. The arachnivores? Jeez. But they are pretty rough, though. But you will probably get the most experience points and skill points out of these uh, monsters. Yeah. See, Lulu's like half dead, pretty much. Or he's just poisoned. But anyway, you can see that you're getting a lot of experience points. Uh, I'd personally level everybody up to level 14. Maybe even 15 if you encounter that wild boar. Uh, there's also a few important items to get. Uh, there's an exclamation mark screw that you can get right now. And you can use that to recruit another Star of Destiny later on. But that won't be until much later. I usually leave that for Ghetto, but whatever. Or Jetto. I'll probably call him Ghetto for the rest of the LP. Uh, awesome, so uh, we're here at the Duck Village. Music here is Epic Win. 
I could literally just leave Hugo right here and just jam to this shit all day and then fall asleep to it because it's so good. Anyway, what you want to do is go up here, check out the items. Whenever you enter a new city, always check the rare selections for each and every store because you'll never know what you'll find. Anyway, you want that silver beak down at the bottom, but we can't afford it right now. Anyway, other than that, I have a quick solution for our money problems. It is called the Lottery. In Sweet Code 2, you basically had like the Technique rune. Sweet Code 1, you had the Prosperity rune, or Marco's game. And then in this game, I just went into the right, the wrong thing, which ended up being the wrong shot. But anyway, in this game, you have a Lottery, which is right over there. But however, I want to go over here first, because we've never been in a rune shop, nor have we experienced a tutor. Now, tutors do the exact same thing as Bujutsu teachers do. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. But they do the same exact thing as Bujutsu teachers do, except they do so for magic and uh, rune... Uh, well, basically just rune stuff, yeah, so you can increase wind magic, and that will make you... Uh, go up in the uh, amount of spells you can do, uh, your attack, how much you heal, stuff like that, and that's just strictly for runes, and only tutors can do that, so it's kind of a pain in the ass when you only have a bujutsu teacher and you don't have a tutor for a few uh, towns, and you have to go all the way back to the around the frickin' map just to <laughs> get your stuff done. But anyway, remove the Sword of Cyclone because you won't be needing it at all. If you sell this, you can easily get uh, an easy 6,000 potch. I don't think you can sell it here. That is totally in my way. Jeez. But yeah, this is a uh, quick money right here. What I normally do is just sell this uh, thing. I love the bass line in that song, too. But anyway, <clears throat> just uh, sell this, and we're going to buy some lottos. Some lottery tickets, rather. <laughs> Lottos. Yep, 6,000. Now, here's a trick with a lottery. What you do is you buy f uh, five sequential and five random tickets. You wait for approximately 20 to 30 minutes for your, the results to spawn. And before you do that, uh, you save your game and then you check. If you don't get any of the winning lottery tickets, preferably the second prize one, then you soft reset, reload, and then it'll do another, uh, it'll pretty much spawn different uh, result numbers. So this means that you can pretty much soft reset until you get the second or first prize. And oh, by the way, the second prize is uh, 100,000 potch, so you pretty much be set for uh, however long you want, or however. Uh, <laughs> It depends on your spending habits, really. But if you got the first uh, prize, which is 500,000 potch, I think you're set until Hugo's Chapter 3, to be honest. Maybe it's just his Chapter 2, I don't know. His Chapter 2 is really short, but that's not trying to spoil anything. Basically what you want to do is go ahead, level up right now, get that screw if you want, and uh, who knows, maybe you might encounter uh, that wild boar I was talking about. So this is ALG signing off. And if you're playing along with me, good luck at leveling up, and I'll see you later.